this hall. I hear you're now in the Cadet Academy around the corner. How is life there? Are they teaching you to stand proud and tall? Soon you'll be able to look down on everyone else, just like our dear father. But there are things he couldn't see from way up there. Words cannot describe the horrors we see here every day. Please write. Your brother. This was mine. Now it's yours. Stand straight, Paul. <coughs> Your father is a cripple. He took your grandmother's life when he was born. And now he is a cripple still because he doesn't stand straight and tall. The boy can't even ride a horse. <laughs> Your brother is not of sound mind. He has your wretched mother's blood. My legacy lies in your hands now. You hear me? The Cadet Academy will make an upright man of you. In spite of your parents, their never-ending suffering, their pain, their cowardice is in your blood. You must purge it. You are the only one worthy of the name von Schmidt. And of my dagger. It's your duty. Do you have...
Never did earn it, son. I, the great general of the German forces, hereby address this message to the Herero people. The Hereros are henceforth no longer German subjects. Any Herero found within the German border, armed or unarmed, with or without livestock, shall henceforth be shot. I shall no longer take in any women or children. Instead, they shall be driven back to their people, or likewise fired upon. These are my words to the Herero people. Lothar von Schmidt, great general of the mighty German Kaiser. Windhoek, October 1st, 1904.
should have seen us. We were one with our horses. A force to be reckoned with. We stood at the gates of Paris. <coughs> Gates of Paris. We could have had it all. Everything. October thirteenth, nineteen seventeen. I have ordered our factories to cease the production of ordnance and arms with immediate effect. Robert refuses to comply. He says that to do so would be treason. August 10th, 1917. I have it. The formula that will help us to victory. An acid that can dissolve the enemy's tank weapons. I call it the Tank Eater. Iron and steel are no match for my acid. It is a weapon even more potent than our new mask breaker agent. The formula is locked in the safe. Preserved from prying eyes by the memory of my father. July 15th, 1917. My son has been promoted, made an officer. My father would be proud of him, but am I? Since Magdalena begged me, I used my connections at Supreme Army Command to ensure that Johannes can look after him. <laughs> Such nonsense. The coward of the family of all people. Have I become infected by her female hysteria? Regardless, we shall all be better off once victory is ours, and I shall do my part. For too long I have allowed my cowardice to paralyze me, but I know now what I must do. I must keep a steady hand, remain focused on my target, just as I did when I killed the gazelle. The fire! 
Feuer! Welt in Brand! The death of the gods! Our death! December 28th, 1916. Magdalena and I hardly exchange a word. Is it the Quicksilver? No. The whole of Berlin has gone quiet. Everyone is suffering from the hunger. But at least it affords me the peace to continue my work on the test animals. I want to play my part in the victory to devise an agent that can penetrate the filters in our enemies' masks. October 10th, 1917. August 26th, 1916. I had a peculiar dream. It was my 32nd birthday again, and I was visiting father in Africa. Just as I did back then, I shot the gazelle. I remember the approval in father's gaze, the nod of recognition. It was my first and only journey of such distance. In my dream, however, I was suddenly a child again. My leg no longer stiff and sickly. In this vision, I was finally able to ride with father. We rode all over the world, from Africa to China and on to America. He was proud of me. Over and over, he spoke to me of how man and horse must merge into one when they ride into battle. Yet in reality, I never rode with father. I was never able to learn. I know how much of a disappointment I was to him ever since the day I was born. If only I could have gone to the front myself but this cursed leg won't allow it. It never would.
bigger than you. That's not fair. You're older. And stronger. Hey, stop tickling me. I'll get you for that. Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh! <laughs> <laughs>
to produce the iron dissolving tank eater, combine three parts of the enclosed chemical compound, which I have named Wilhelmswasser, with one part hydrochloric acid. A three to one ratio is essential. The combination will only produce tank eater acid if the proportions are exactly correct and the hydrochloric acid used is pure. This will change everything.
saw someone. I can no longer afford to be distracted by figments of my imagination. It is almost done. Death is not the end, it is a gateway, a way out. The first of the pigeons have already passed through.
So the identity of our new company Führer was no coincidence. Him, of all people. Our newly minted Leutnant. Father confessed as much when I was back in Berlin. He pulled some strings with Supreme Army Command. I tried to tell him that Mother was worried about him. That he's only here because of Father. But he didn't want to hear it. He thinks he has earned the right to fight in the war. 
that he made it to the front lines all by himself. He doesn't even know what war is. Even now, here in the trenches, he refuses to see the truth as it stares him in the face. Desecrated and decaying. Burned out and begging wordlessly for mercy. As ordered, the great Leutnant of the mighty German Kaiser has started using the new poison gas compounds against the French. He truly believes that killing off some of the poor bastards in their own trenches will help us win the war. He was so pleased with himself. How can he not see that the whole world is against us? Would he rather wipe them all out than admit defeat?
communications up and running again.
where you are. I felt the shockwaves all the way back here. What happened? Did you clear the gun positions? Prove it to me! To be sure, I hope you can understand that. Not a bad shot for a blind man, eh? <laughs> oh, my eyes, they still hurt. But I can see much clearer now. Much, uh, 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 much. I know you killed the abomination that did this to me, too. I should never have doubted you, soldier. Uh, even though you never brought me my medicine. But... Uh, I can take care of myself. The enemy is spreading through the country like a plague. They have penetrated our ranks and even uh, the fatherland itself. I need to hold our position here. The... Uh, uh, the rest is up to you now. Follow the railway tunnel in the east. It will take you to a munitions factory. They've cut off the supply lines for our war materials. Something is interfering with production. Uh, 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 there are rumors of a saboteur. Uh, an enemy in our own ranks. Take this. It will be dark soon. If you can get the machines up and running again. We'll have all the explosives we need. What to are you win. waiting for? <laughs> Just like Follow you did the tracks east. I'm counting on you. You are our only hope of getting out of here alive. We've already been pinned down here for too long. was father who got him posted out here, but I barely recognize this loitment of ours. It has been years since he last spoke to me, and that includes the several weeks since his arrival here. First I was shunned for being the black sheep of the family, then for having the nerve to go off to war before he could, and now he looks down on me. Me and everyone else.
autumn is upon us again. Three years this war has been raging on. I paid a visit to the attic while I was back home on leave. But the memories of Christian were too painful. Even my pigeons were gone. Mother said they flew off, but I think she was lying. Perhaps because father was with us. He probably let them starve to death in their cages. He has set up a laboratory in the basement. Mother does not seem to know what he gets up to down there. They hardly say a word to each other anymore. Thank you. 